Hello and welcome, everyone. Um, over the weekend, there was a shooting at the Greenwood Mall um, in Indiana, and a good Samaritan, uh, the media is dubbing him, um, ended up stopping the shooting and prevented many other people from being injured or killed. And while I think the majority of people would see the good in that, and the positive side of that, obviously tragic for the people that are, that did die and were injured in this tragedy. Um, but it's really interesting to me. And I saw a video from uh, Langley Outdoors. Uh, he made a really interesting video of an article um, kind of pointing out the contrary to uh, the positive in the outcome that <laughs> occurred. Uh, it's, I, and I found this other article myself that I'm going to share with you guys. I'll put a link in the comments below or the description rather. Um, and a link to Langley's video too, because very interesting stuff. I think it's very weird and interesting that even when you have a mass shooting and there is actually some, you know, good that comes out of it, as tragic as it may be, the media still wants to spin it as a negative thing that someone was there lawfully carrying a firearm to defend themselves and defended themselves and who knows how many other people at a mall mind you this who knows how many people could have been i don't i'm not very familiar with the mall or indiana i don't know how big it was but let's get in the article <laughs> let's pump the brakes on celebrating the good samaritan in the Indiana mall shooting. That an, <laughs> that an armed bystander was the only person around to stop a mass shooting in progress is not the win the right thinks it is. How? How? <laughs> Are they advocating? It's hard, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna go down that path, but are they potentially advocating that more people should have died? I don't, so the other weird thing that especially the Langley Outdoors pointed out was that the mall already did um, ban firearms. It has signs posted, I guess, that bans firearms. But in many states, those signs actually don't carry the weight of law. And let, let, let alone, um, it's a sign. It can't do anything to prevent a gun or a criminal from doing anything illegal anyway. Um, but thankfully, there was this Good Samaritan that, well, you know, <laughs> stopped the shooting. So... Just after 6 p.m. local time on Sunday evening, an unidentified gunman walked into the food court at Greenwood Park Mall outside of Indianapolis, Indiana, and began firing with what officials believe is some sort of long gun. His motives remain unofficially unknown thus far. What is known, however, is that after killing three mall goers and injuring several more, the gunman himself was shot to death by an armed 22-year-old bystander, good for you, who has been dubbed the Good Samaritan and a hero, and they put it in quotes. <laughs> So they put a bunch of tweets in here of, uh, I'm assuming, I'm not sure who some of these people are, but people like praying for the families and, um, I guess kind of sticking up for the good Samaritan because, well, let's be honest, we, the list could be way longer if he wasn't there. Um, so they, they go on in the article to reference Uvalde, which another tragic situation that we all are very familiar with. And how Uvalde is like an exception to the rule of the good guys with guns stop bad guys with guns. So as we get into this article a little bit further, but take a step back from the lottery Fox News headlines and celebratory we told you so it's from the various corners of the right wing slime culture. Wow. And consider what exactly is being held up as an ideal here. A random 22 year old, okay opening fire in an already chaotic scene. What? <laughs> Only after multiple people were dead and injured. Okay, so what is he, what is the point of that sentence? Is he, is he supposed to be like, you know, the minority report, like a lot of people are saying? Like, is he supposed to go, oh shit, that guy's gonna open, open fire and kill a bunch of people. He's at a mall with a bunch of strangers with a firearm on him in case, something exactly like what happened happened. That's why we carry firearms. We carry it to protect ourselves and others. Not because we want to go shoot up 
a mall or anything like that. Because if shit hits the fan, I want a way to protect myself when the police are probably not there or at most minutes away. Like, that could have went south really fast. His own life, the 22-year-old's life, could have been lost very quickly if he wasn't carrying a firearm. The police, meanwhile, the people actually paid, okay, and empowered to do something in this situation are essentially treated as afterthoughts because they're not walking around the mall. They're not there necessarily 24 hours a day. There's not enough police to guard every single person in the city. Is this truly a best case scenario, particularly as envisioned by the same black back the blue crowd who has spent years screaming how vital police forces for situations just like this? Ironically, the same group of people that also tout, you know, defund the police, or were touting that a couple years ago, were <laughs> the same people saying that we the cops shouldn't have guns because those cops are killing innocent people out on the street, you know, when they're getting pulled over and stuff like that. They use their, the cops are shooting people and they shouldn't have guns in the first place. What, what do you want? Like, what, what do you expect? Like, where, where do you, where does, where does people like the guy that writes, writes this article, where do you, where, where do you want to go? Where do you draw the line? I don't get it. It's bizarre to me. Um, you'll have to read this article for yourself. It's really bizarre how people can still take this tragedy and spin it in a way when an actual good thing happened. Like, like I said, so many more people could have died. We'll probably find more stuff about this story as it comes out. Not this article, because this is trash. But, my God. Like, they can't even, like, wait a second to put stuff out like this and just find something, you know, like the... Uh, like Hillary and all those guys saw, those politicians say, never let a good tragedy go to waste. Here we go again. Articles like this come out. Articles like the Langley Outdoors posted, sharing just this disgusting... The guy literally saved tons of people's lives. Where were the police to stop it? Well, like Colia Noir says many, many times over, when seconds count, police are minutes away. You guys, you gotta stay, you gotta, you're, you're your only line of defense against people like this. The police aren't always gonna be there to help you. Make sure you take care of yourself first. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know, I don't know how often I'm gonna be doing stuff like this, but I feel like reading articles like this shortly after this actual hero did what he did it is infuriating um so shout out to langley outdoors for posting his video like i said check him out um it's unbelievable i can't believe he found a separate article that i found just unbelievable like i'm sure there's plenty more it's kind of disgusting to say the fact it's kind of disgusting for the people that died in this tragedy to take away like what happened and and what this guy did and stuck up for these people that died in such a terrible way. It's disgusting.